Hello all you gorgeous YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you in pictures my son's fifth birthday party inspired by Disney's movie Inside Out. And our favorite character of the movie is Bing Bong. That's who you're looking at. I love him because he's pink, fuzzy, smells of cotton candy. He's part elephant and raccoon. He's just so adorable. So that was my inspiration. I originally decided to do the Inside Out theme, and when I did, the movie head came out, but nobody had any of the party stuff in the stores, so I had to either custom order it or make it myself. So I'm going to show you in these pictures how the party turned out. I invited about 60 people, and I think 67 people showed up, somewhere around there, 67 to 70. Also, um, the party itself took me four days to decorate, but I was preparing for it two weeks ahead of time, and then I was ordering stuff probably two months before the party even happened. So it took a while to put the stuff together, and the four days of decorating was absolutely crazy. I saved all the balloon decorating until the second to last day, and then on the last day I was able to get the helium balloons and the food and the cake and everything set up. So it took some time, but it turned out absolutely beautiful, and I wouldn't have changed anything about it. Um, one of the things that I didn't get to do that I wanted to do was dress up as disgust, and the reason that didn't happen is because my dress didn't come in time, so um, I wasn't able to do that, but it still turned out perfect. So I'm going to show you these pictures. I was going to do it in a slideshow version, but I want to talk a little bit more about some pictures than others, so I'm just going to show you them by hand, and if if you guys want to see any of these pictures close up or um, learn more about them than what I'm telling you, then feel free to ask any questions in the comment section and I will look forward to replying to those. So let me go really quickly through the pictures. This is the front door and there that's Bing Bong and he's like a four foot tall stand up that I put, maybe four and a half foot tall. And then on the door I put stickers of sadness, disgust and joy. And then an inside out logo. I'm trying to zoom in on this. This is the only picture that's not going to um, zoom in and show you the detail. So that was the picture. Some of these pictures are um, of the actual party when it was happening. And then some of them were taken um, before the party started. This was a custom shirt that I made my son. I ordered the iron on logo. It says look who's five Jeremy Jr. with the inside out characters. I made that t-shirt um, just with an iron-on I ordered online and put it on that long sleeve t-shirt and it turned out perfect. So I tried to do a few more custom things for the party like I made a sign to go in the garage that I totally forgot to hang up. It was a big huge inside out sign and had his name on it, happy birthday. And then um, I also made Hershey Kisses custom with the inside out characters as well as his birthday. And then um, water bottles with Jeremy Jr. I don't have any close-up pictures of the um, Hershey Kisses, but I do have a, a few pictures of the water bottles that I can show you. And they are custom inside-out labels, and they look like water bottle labels, but they have the inside-out characters on them. And it had Happy Birthday, Jeremy Jr., and um, it was so cute. So... This, I had three favorite pieces at this birthday party, and one of them was the memory wall that I made, and the other favorite piece was the cotton candy chandelier, and then the other favorite piece was Bing Bong's wagon. So those are the things I'm going to show you first, because those are the most exciting, and the first one will be the memory wall. So there's a picture of it in full scale with, um, you can see sadness on the right-hand side, and fear on the left hand side hiding behind the curtain. I made those curtains. I tried to make them m like movie style. They look really cute close up. But the memory balls, I um, I think there's like 500 of them. And there's 500 or more. But the bottom row I did all blue because sadness in the movie touched the bottom row of balls and turned them all blue. So um, in between each memory ball, I'll show you a close up picture. And just to give you a scale of how big that wall is. You can see that fear is way taller than my son and the wall is way taller than fear. So it was a huge memory wall and I think that was everybody's favorite part of the party. But um, that memory wall took so long to put up. We were like 45 minutes into putting this wall up 
and we had three balloons on the wall. So that was, <laughs> it was so hard to figure out how to do, but if I zoom in close, you can see in between each balloon is like a shelf and it's streamer. You can see the little brown shelving and it's streamer in between each one. And I thought that that was gonna hold them up, but it did not. So I had to use like this double-sided sticky goo stuff to actually hold the balloons up but it turned out amazing when it was done so I absolutely love it and I wouldn't have did it any other way now it took like four or five of us four days of decorating to get all this stuff done but this next thing I'm going to show you is I think my top favorite because it's so hard to choose between the memory wall and the wagon but this I love and it took me about probably nine hours and I worked on it a little bit each day um, for maybe two weeks and it's the cotton candy chandelier and I used um, like pillow stuffing and I spray painted it with pink and then I used two different colored glitters to give it dimension and I sprayed it with two entire cans of cotton candy scent. So it not only looked like cotton candy and was soft and fluffy, but it smelled like cotton candy as well. And the best part about it is it lit up. So you can see the sliding glass door and it's pitch black outside. But when it was light outside and you turn the chandelier on, it looked like this. And then when it turned dark, it looked like this. So it was really pretty. And I think I kept this cotton candy chandelier up for about six or seven days. I wish I could have kept it up forever because it was so adorable. But that is my favorite. I think my favorite because this next one's so cute too. Um, Bing Bong. And he's like four and a half feet tall. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I'm kind of guessing, but they're huge. And there's his wagon. And here's a close-up of it. And you can see inside the wagon, trying to zoom in, I got all the little custom water bottles with the inside out picture, you can see, and then Jeremy Jr.'s birthday. It's so cute, and Capri Suns, and then of course the wagon is equipped with the rainbow. And Bing Bong loved his wagon. So those are the main themes that I set up around the room. I also had, um, Anger, I think he was like two and a half, three feet tall with all the Mylar balloons. Super cute. And then I also had every character. Here's Disgust. She is adorable. And those pillars are 15 balloons big with the Mylar balloon on top that I built. And they are 12 inch balloons. So they are really tall. I will show you. Um, here's the one of joy and just to give you an idea how big it is there's my son and it's just huge but so adorable and so I put those pillars all over the house with all the characters making sure that I didn't miss any there's sadness and on this side of sadness is the memory wall so there was that and then also by the memory wall, if you rounded the corner, there's um, the entrance to the hallway and then the bathroom. So I filled that entire area with balloons just to make it fun. So I think there was like 75 balloons in there. It just goes all the way up. So that was fun, just so that it wasn't super boring when you were going to the restroom. Now, I did this other wall all streamers this is all streamer and it's from the ceiling all the way to the floor and I tucked it into the carpet to give it a really clean look and I tucked it underneath the baseboards which held it really tight and then I took a piece and twisted it just to give it some dimension and then I put this pillar up that I built with clear balloons and white balloons and made them into clouds and I was supposed to have a rainbow on this side coming from the wall to the fan but I spent like three hours on making that rainbow and I didn't like it. So I took it down and just left the wall like this for the place for the presents. And then um, here in the corner on the entertainment center, you can see the little inside out gift bags that I did. They're very tiny. Um, in the picture, they're tiny, but they were like, I don't know, eight inches tall and just filled with goodies. I didn't find any inside out goodies other than stickers and stamps. So I did fill them with just anything Disney. 
Um, the games that I had, I did a balloon drop, which I don't have pictures of, but, um, well, I have pictures, but not here. So, um, I just did the sadness color, dark blue and light blue balloons, and I did the balloon drop with, um, it had, so they were those colors, and it had a little tiny memory ball that fell out, and if you got the memory ball, then you won. I also did a custom-made Bing Bong Pinata that I ordered, and this is probably the only picture that I have, but he's so cute, and he was probably mm, two and a half, almost three feet tall. He was so adorable, and the kids loved him, and he was just filled with candy, and I also sprayed the cotton candy scent on him, so it smelled really pretty, too. Now, I made a <laughs> custom... <laughs> Bing Bong pinned the tail on Bing Bong, and the boys pinned um, the tails on him, and the girls pinned flowers. So I'm going to show you a closer picture of those. But I just got the stand-up, and then I made the tails, and I made the flowers, and they turned out so adorable. Um, so this is the flower that I made. This is the one that's actually on him, and then this one I made too. So all the girls had the flowers, and they were so cute in person. I still have them. They're just filled with glitter. And each petal is its color in glitter. And then the tail, you can see it's really fuzzy because I use like boas and then glitter and then boas and then glitter. And you can see it turned out really cute. So I still have the tails and I still have the bing bong, all the stand-ups. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I still have them. They're adorable. This wall in the kitchen above the counter or the cabinets, I had to do this whole thing twice. And it's like probably close to 300 balloons and we built the entire pillar and shoved it up there and it was too big and all the balloons started popping so we had to redo the whole thing and this streamer is the color of Bing Bong's tail and then Bing Bong's legs and what we did was the streamer all the way across so this was huge it's not coming off that big in pictures but it was huge and it was totally adorable it came right over the counter with the cake and looked so cute so I love that so I'm just gonna give you a quick look at just the different food and um, plate decoration that I used I just found some inside out plates online and then they didn't have cups so I just did green and kind of you can see right here I just put a little bit of inside out stickers on the cups to give them you know some inside out pizzazz now, I did lots of food. I did nachos, and I had pizzas, and, and uh, meatballs, and barbecue sauce, and just all kinds of food. I had fruit trays and vegetable trays that I had made myself, and I tried to keep everything, you know, very festive and party-like. This was the table, and you can see all the Hershey Kisses on top. Those were all the custom Hershey Kisses with your little inside-out tablecloth. It was so cute. And you can see disgust in the background. Now this is um, a cotton candy machine I had running the entire time. You can see how cute I made the little boxes. And I, <laughs> I had more fun making the cotton candy than the kids. And there were a lot of adults over there making cotton candy because it was so fun. But they had a blast with it. So I'm glad that I incorporated that. Especially with the cotton candy chandelier. It turned out really perfect. Now, the cake I ordered from a grocery store, and I put all the toppers on it myself, and then I ordered a um, bunch of cupcakes. Now, the cupcakes were supposed to be um, matching the cake, but the cake, they did the wrong blue, but I was okay with it because it still matched the theme. I'll show you close-up pictures of the cake, and you can see Disgust fell backwards, and Sadness fell forward shortly after the party started, so we just left them there. But I do have pictures of them um, not falling over, so that was good. So there they are when they first got put on the cake. And I'm not sure really why they fell over. I know they were super heavy. There's anger. It's funny because he's in front of the word happy. And one last one of the cake, and then I'll show you the cupcakes again really close because they have the cute little... Bing Bong Wagon. I love these cupcakes. They were so fun. And the little wagon and then fear back here hiding. So that is my son's fifth birthday party for Inside Out. I have did other themed parties. I did um, 
Toy Story. And then my son's nursery was also Toy Story and his baby shower. I'm totally in love with Buzz Lightyear. And then I also did Turbo for his third birthday, which turned out really cute. It was a lot of work. It wasn't as extravagant as this one, but it was definitely a lot of work and really cute. If you guys have any questions on anything, please let me know, and I look forward to answering those. And thank you so much for looking at my pictures. If you want to see anything close up or maybe um, uh, pictures that I didn't get to show you, um, like the candy or the water bottles, then I will definitely be more than happy to do that for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more fun videos. This is kind of an off the topic um, video. I just found these cute pictures and thought that I would share them to you to maybe um, inspire somebody if they needed help figuring out how they were going to um, put a birthday party together. So I love it. I love the idea of decorating and I have a lot of fun with it. So Definitely, I'm um, here for you guys if you have any questions or comments or requests. Thank you so much for watching my video, and until next time, I say bye.